guys. The most cray thing happened between last video and now this video. I got a job. Yeah, yeah, wow. Fucking finally, holy shit. So as you may or may not know, I've been looking for a job since like September. I took the summer off because, um, yeah. And it's just been absolute awful, like torture, like, ugh. But I did it. And now I have a corporate nine to five. I honestly, like, I don't really know how to feel. I just have to keep reminding myself, like, money, money, money. Like, I'm gonna have money. I'm gonna have a lot of money, 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 money. All good news, all good things, right? And this means I get to move out sooner than I thought. So I will be moving out. So get ready for, like, move out content because I'm going back to Manhattan and that'll be fun. So I'm gonna go buy some work clothes. I'm gonna thrift and go to the mall and see if I can find anything that's business casual. I'm guessing that's the dress code. I probably should figure out the dress code before I shop, right? I'll just wing it. So I can't fathom going to the same mall I've been going to like all year. So I traveled like all across the island to a different mall just to experience something different, you know? I also have to get my friend a birthday present so I can't forget that because I'll be a really bad friend if I do. Oh my God, I want cheesecake. Oh, the Cheesecake Mansion, it's everything. No, 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 no. There's something, there's something absolutely sinister going on in that mall and I don't know what it is. I cannot find a single, like, single thing. I'll, I know what, I'll wait till the car, but of course I got my Auntie Anne's. This mall reminds me of like um, the back rooms or like a liminal space, like it just, it's fake. So as I said, something sinister was happening in that mall. It was filled with like fake people. Everyone looked like a non-playable character and it was filled to the brim with fake stores. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. When the Abercrombie and Fitch went out of business, like this random store, <clears throat> just like randomly open and you're like, what is this? You've never heard of the brand. You've never seen the clothes ever. It's just like a random miscellaneous store. And there was an entire wing dedicated to it. It was like runway clothing. That runway must be in hell. Cause that the, it was like the ugliest clothes I've ever seen in my life. There was a store called like Stuff and Things. I'm like, that's like a story I would make up, but I couldn't find a single thing and I just couldn't be there any longer. So I guess we'll try again tomorrow. Sometimes I get nervous when people walk to my car. It's like, are you about to kill me? Side note, I cannot stop eating Wingstop to the point where like, I ask my parents every week on Sunday at the start of the week, I'll be like, so when are you guys out this week? Like I'll ask them so I know what days I can get Wingstop. It's almost embarrassing. Almost. This is the face of a girl who loves Wingstop. Do you like it? Do you like it? What's up with dogs? Like they refuse to look at the camera. I'm like, Penny. Pen and she's like this. Like, can you look at the camera maybe? Look, she won't do it. Won't do it. <laughs> Every okay. <laughs> it smells like rotted expired wing stop in here right now. Not a cute smell. Not cute. Bing, bing, bing. Like we get it, okay? So it's the next day. I actually don't know why I stopped filming. I think I was just sad. I think I was a little overwhelmed yesterday after talking about my job, so. <sighs> I just totally cut that person off. Ugh! I somehow ended up in Jersey. Dang it. Oh, I guess I have to go to the dispensary. I guess I have to go. Dang it. I'm only here because I have to cut it out because now that I have a job, I will not be doing it every night. <laughs> it's my last big hurrah before I start a job. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the dispensary, okay? Like, let me do it. Okay, I'm at this mall called the Westfield Garden State Plaza. And I think I've been to this mall once before and it was for, it was for the Morphe store opening. And Jeffree Star was opening the store. Oh my God, don't even. But that's the last time I've been at this mall. And I didn't even meet him or go into the store because the line was so long, so. This Diet Coke like pop-up store, I need to live here. Holy shit, was that mall big? Oh my God. I didn't even go onto the first floor. Like I was literally on the second floor the entire time and I covered like 2% of the stores there. Jesus. 
I don't know what's going on with me. I have no energy. The past two days, I've been so drained to the point where I like, my eyes feel heavy. Like I'm like this and I feel like I'm walking around like, oh, 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 oh. So I think I'm gonna go back to the island and I'm gonna go thrifting. But before I do that, I gotta make a stop. Yes! You already know. Tried a new drink today. This is a matcha chai. This is the $8 drink I would get at Starbucks and this is literally five bucks, which is still a lot, but let's try it. It's c Oh my God. Mmm, mmm, yum. And then I got my favorite tried and true, my garlic mac and cheese, because it's just so good. Mmm, mmm. No, you're done. You're done, you're dumb, you're stupid, you're an idiot, etc. Oh, I got these too. Chicken bites, let's try them. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, god damn, those are drier than the Sahara. Oh my god. Oh. My meal of a mac and cheese, chicken bites, and a matcha chai. So healthy. Why do I have no energy? Oh my god, how bad is my hunchback? Ready? I'm not, I don't even know how it looks. I'm just gonna look in the viewfinder right now. <laughs> okay. Maybe I should listen to my mom when she said, um, put your shoulders back. Anyway, the urban in the mall had barely any dickies like they only had the black ones which sucked but i just got black dickies that i can wear basically every single day i go to work in the office because it's like an everyday pant dur and then i went thrifting and all of this 43 dollars ready you're gonna freak you're gonna freak cute little button down from joseph a bank this sweater from Barney's New York that I got for literally $13. This sweater from a brand named Crew, also $13. And then this simple but black button down. Really simple items that I can just wear every day. If you wanna see what it looks like on, I posted a TikTok of me um, trying everything on, so go there if you wanna see it, I guess. One thing about me, I will be an outfit repeater in the office. Like I, I can't be bothered coming up with a new reinvented the wheel outfit every single time I go into the office. I'm not doing that ever. I think I'm gonna have like 10 clothing items that I just cycle through, you know? Cause two days a week, ha like people aren't gonna remember what I wear. See, I'm thinking I'm smart. What I don't understand is that it was literally Hmm, I want to say like 65 degrees like three days ago and now it's like freezing and it was snowing this morning So that's just extremely concerning and the world is fully gonna end very soon, but you know what? Might as well just live. Okay, so I have to go to the mall yet again I it seems like I can't stop going to the mall in every fucking video. I feel like I'm at the mall There's nothing to do though. There's literally nothing to do. There is nothing to do anymore. I gotta get my friend Christian a birthday present because it's his birthday today and we're going to dinner. So I'm gonna get him some cute things, cute stuff. And maybe I'll find some more work clothes, but honestly, like, ugh. last night I was like bugging out because of this job. I was like, fully glitching because like, whoa, my whole life is about to change. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's Saturday. The mall's gonna be so crowded. Oh God. But I get to get Auntie Anne. The amount of Auntie Anne's pretzels I've been ingesting lately, I'm scared for my health. I'm scared. Ow! Sorry. I just, got, I just got like a stomach pain. That was actually concerning how like much that hurt and it went away so fast. But I'm not gonna call my doctor. I'm not gonna call my mom. I don't care about it. I should be a lead singer for one of those um, college rock bands. You don't call me. You don't see me. You're not my dad. Okay. Remind me just to, to never go to a mall ever again in my life, ever. People are fucking annoying. They don't know how to walk. It's so crowded because there's literally nothing else to do in the suburbs except go to the mall. Mm. <laughs> this is so sad. I literally have my empty <laughs> from last time. 
I think I've gotten Auntie Anne's like every single video for the past like three videos. I don't regret it. I asked him what records he wanted and every single record that he said was not there. Even Igor, which like has been so readily available. So I was really confused. Awaken My Love by Childish Gambino. I think he'll really like this. I hope he doesn't have this in his collection already because if he does, I'll kill myself. But I got a gift receipt just in case. They had sweetener. Oh, sweetener. I don't know if like, I don't know if this is um, a thing by you, but I have not been able to find a sweetener record for years, like literally years. Every record store that I would go to, they didn't have it. And they had two, so I got one, duh. And then I got him this cute little candle from Nordstrom and they wrapped it so beautifully for me but I'm gonna tell him that I wrapped it. But I gotta get him a funny card that makes no sense and a funny gift bag. So I gotta go to CVS. I don't know what candy he likes though. I'm such a good friend. Okay, so I got him a giant Kit Kat. I hope he likes these. If not, I'll eat it. So a joke Christian and I have with each other is getting like joke cards, like cards that make absolutely no sense. I think for my birthday, he got me a condolences card. <laughs> like I Like someone died. So I'm getting him a as your son is baptized card and it reads sweet little boy if only you know if only you knew what blessings i can't read sweet little boy if you only knew what wonderful blessings are waiting for you what joys and adventures what beautiful plans the lord has for you as you're placed in his hands party i like this but i also hate this Welcome to I Like This But I Also Hate This, a segment where I talk about things I like and then I follow it with something I hate. I love Severance. Guys, this show, oh my god, what? I'm literally not gonna say a single thing except you need to watch this show. It probably has the best first episode and the best last episode I've ever seen in a show ever. Like so good, oh my god. I hate when there's like a full family at the mall. Like when it's the mom, dad, sister, brother, and then like two cousins, like at the mall together. Why are you doing that? And they just take up the entire row. They're like, where's the Apple store? I love that I'm now employed, but I also hate that I'm now employed. It's a dichotomy. Like I'm happy I'm gonna get money, but I'm hateful that I have to work from nine to five, five days a week. I love my Telfar bag, like I really do. It's c it goes with everything and it's sleek, love it. I need to get the Telfar wallets on Monday. I hate how it seems like every single time I drive there's a new fucking problem with my car. I'm like, yes, go into wherever. And it's like, bing, 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 engine, oil, windshield wiper, tire broke. And I'm like, wow, wow. Oh my God, new challenge for my car, work. It's losing really bad. I love that I'm gonna move out soon, go back to the city. So excited for that, genuinely. Like, whoa, I need to get out of the suburbs. But I also hate because I'm gonna miss Penny so much. My dog. I like pre-miss her. Like I already miss her when I move out. Ugh. Sorry if this video is a little boring. I am a little overwhelmed right now. So <laughs> didn't really know exactly what to film. My mind's kind of all over the place, but I'm still gonna be making videos every week. Um. I don't know how, but I will. I don't know. I'll figure it out.